Life is full of distractions, and in some cases, that's okay. Without distractions, the ad industry would be next to nothing. I mean, what would we do without Raid Shadow Legends? In other cases, distractions can be a bad thing, because they take away from what really matters in life, like family time and chicken. And today, I intend to find a solution to that. Specifically, I'll be trying to solve a problem which involves my parents trying to calm me down when I'm either gaming or editing, both of which involve a lot of noise and can drown out the sound from downstairs. It's a bit too much trouble for my frail old parents to come upstairs and take my headphones off manually, so what if there is a way to do it from downstairs? And that's when I had an idea. Please enjoy the conceptual animation. Hey, get down here! It's dinner time! It's dinner time! Do you hear me? <laughs> I present to you, the Headphone Yanker. So the first thing we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to see if this vent actually connects to the one in my room. You should pull right off this bit of paint that it's stuck to. Oh, there we go. So I don't actually have any proper like string in my room other than some cables, so I'm literally just gonna use uh, an old lav. And with this, we'll not only be able to see if these connect nicely, uh, we'll also be able to listen in to what's going on down there. So I think that's pretty awesome. I guess we're just gonna <laughs> drop this in. Goodbye microphone. It's just tied around this random piece of metal that I probably shouldn't be messing with. Why did I think that was gonna stay? Hello? Oh, never mind. it stopped. Stand on a chair. Oh. It's barely even in there. Hello? Oh, shoot. So that makes things kind of interesting. What we have here is wood. We got, we got wood here. So we just have sort of like a board here that all the cables are passing through. Um, which is fine, because you could just drill a hole through that, I guess. Should be fine, right? All right, so the hole has been drilled here. Oh yeah, I took off my sweater, so. Oh, now you know I'm a beer addict. Um, that's a joke. So I can either feed the rope down. Oh, I got some actual rope, by the way. I can either feed it downwards and try to aim for the hole, or I can feed it up from downstairs, maybe attach a magnet to the end here and fish it out. Um, and I think I'm just gonna feed it down because there's probably some other things that are magnetic here. So I think I'm just gonna try to feed it down. Ooh, I think I can see the hole down there. All right, let's give it a try. Just gonna drop it all the way down. I'm actually gonna go get a guide or something. Or you know what, maybe I am gonna try the magnet. So what I did is I attached a nail, just an iron nail to uh, the rope. Um, this is magnetic, so I'm just gonna stick it up the hole. Like that. I'll give it a try. Right here I have one of my trusty neodymium rare earth magnets, and I'm just gonna wrap it around the end of the string here. Now we have a nice weight on the end. All right, drop it down. Try it again. Can't see it. All right, so I've been doing some measurements and the distance between this wall and that wall where the vent is, is 128 inches, okay? And then in my sister's room, the distance between that wall and this wall is 122 inches, all right? And then the distance between this wall and the dining room and that wall where I've been drilling is 100 128 inches. This is directly under my sister's room. And then the distance between that kitchen wall and this kitchen wall is 122. Why? Okay, so there's obviously a six inch difference between the two. And guess what that six inches is? This wall right here. Okay, so what does that mean? That means I need to drill into the ceiling. Dun, dun, dun. All right, so it's about a day later. Um, I wanted to go to Home Depot to get one of those drill extensions because the drill wasn't long enough to reach all the way through the ceiling. But basically what I did is I got a bunch of parts, as you can see here, and I basically rigged something together using a mix of sockets and, uh, do I have it here? Yeah, I think it's a socket with uh, a bolt right there and that bolt screws into the uh, chuck that was on the hand drill and that is on this very long uh, hole cutter bit. 
Uh, but yeah, I would use that to drill all the way up. And um, there's a hole, pretty big hole. But the idea was I would stick up a pole, a metal pole that I got from this hot dog roaster. Yeah, it's a, I'll, I'll show you in a second. But I stuck it up and it's magnetic. And I had stuck the magnets down the hole in my room. And weirdly enough, this vent, although it lines up pretty well, I mean, four inches from uh, this direction, it's actually very far off this way. So there's the vent, and there's the hole right there. So what I did is I stuck the, the rope of magnets down there. I tried to get the, uh, the fishing rod. Now I was resting the fishing rod sort of on the ceiling. Um, you'll see what I mean in a sec. But if it's not resting on the ceiling, if it's like somehow suspended magically in the air, that means this is a success. All right. Oh, oh, oh. My calculations were correct. It's just magically floating. So much measuring had to be, okay. I did it completely wrong earlier. I'm gonna have to patch that up using some probably drywall from uh, Henderson in my room. Or, you, I haven't introduced Henderson, have I? All right, let's get, let's get the fishing rod down from up there. All right. Come on. Oh! oh. We did it. That's so stupid, but we finally did it. All right, so I think before I go any further, I should try to you know, clean things up a bit. Uh, I'm gonna start by patching up the hole in the kitchen and uh, probably putting the covers back on the vents because well, they weren't exactly needed after all. All right, so this hole right here is about one inch wide. And I'm thinking that's a bit big to do just with the uh, plaster stuff. I might, I, might have to, I might have to look for some drywall. Wish me luck. Oh, Henderson, my king, I humbly ask for a piece of your flesh. I think that's a yes. Ah! All right, I guess we're just gonna bring the entire thing down. So once that was all done, I got to work on some pulleys. These turned out surprisingly well. The only thing that was left was just to put everything together. Thanks. I'm a bit too lazy to set up the cinema camera again, so I'm just gonna use this like ancient webcam. Um, this is probably uh, my stupidest idea yet, um, and somehow it ended up working. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to you know being in something important and then some of my headphones flying off. I think that's gonna be a lot of fun for everyone involved. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe.